All right, guys, so we have a little bit of extra work today, and that's just because we were finishing up our um, reading comprehension that we had um, the, the previous packet, but we're gonna get started in this packet as well. And it, originally what I was thinking is that we weren't gonna be out of school for so long. So I printed this out and there's some math in it, but I'm gonna say you guys can go ahead and um, just cross out or just skip the math pages in this packet for this week okay um i think it's best for us to just keep doing the saxon math for right now since it's something that everybody pretty much knows how to do um and so it makes it easier than trying to do some new worksheet so we're only going to do the reading pages any of the math pages you can skip but only math the social studies pages or science pages those we are going to do because that's also part of language arts is reading those so you'll notice for this packet that in the beginning it actually tells you about some of the materials that you might need and then it also gives you some tips that you can use for going through it, like having a schedule every day where you, you have a certain time where you complete your activities, a certain time where you take a break, right? Maybe this um, has to do with when you have help too. Maybe you do it when your parents are there. Or maybe you try to do it on your own just using the YouTube videos and then you have a scheduled time with your parents or siblings or whoever's at home with you later on, right? Um, here you just have your activity menu. So this just tells you all of the things that you'll have to do for day one, day two, day three. And you'll know when to stop because the first part, it'll say day one. And then once you get to day two, you know, oh, I'm going to do that on Tuesday, not today. So remember, you can go ahead and cross out any of the math stuff. If you do do the math stuff, I'll give you five extra credit points for each page of math that you do. So math, I'll just write right here, extra credit, five points per page. So maybe today you say, oof, this was enough work for me. I do not want to do the math. Um, but maybe you get bored at some point and you're like, maybe I'll do it anyways. I could use some extra credit, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at our first thing. And so make sure you're looking at each page because each page will have something on it. Here's what it's telling us for what we're doing for today. Crossing this off, you don't have to do the math, but if you want to, it will be extra credit. Five points per page. So that'll help you out if you have some trouble on one of your tests. So let's take a look at the first thing we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a little bit more reading comprehension, but this is going to be slightly more difficult, right? Because it's a little bit longer than what we've been reading. And the, there's actually some dialogue in here. Does anybody remember what dialogue is? Dialogue is when we have characters in a story that are speaking. So we're using quotation marks. And that's something we're going to be reviewing today also. So pay attention to where the quotation marks are in here. There are some of you guys who are great at putting quotation marks um, in your writing. Um, if you aren't so great, maybe you're a two or a one on our scale. Um, you might want pay attention to where the quotation marks here. You might want to get your highlighter out. Highlight um, the quotation marks in here. That might help you out for the activity we're gonna be doing shortly after this. So let's go ahead and use one of our strategies um, before we read to take a look at the questions we're gonna have to answer. And these are questions that you've we've been practicing with our story elements um, worksheets. First question is, who is the main character in the story? So we're not asking who are all the characters, we just wanna know who is the main one. Number two, what is the setting in the story? So where is the story happening? Where does it take place? Number three, how does the character feel in the story? Is she happy? Is she sad? Is she nervous? Number four, how has Alexis prepared for the game show? So what things has she done to get ready for the game show? And number five, what do the words on edge tell you about Alexis? I would suggest that you find where it says the word on edge in this story, highlight that whole sentence, read the sentence before it and the sentence after to see if you can figure out what that means. Is she sitting on the edge of something or is this an idiomatic expression that maybe means something else? 
All right, so let's take a look at the top. It says, understanding the character. Great readers can focus on the story elements in a text to have a deeper understanding of the story. The characters, setting, problem, and solution are story elements. They make the story interesting, and we have studied every single one of these characters, the people or creatures in a story, movie, or play, setting, the time and place in which something happens, problem, a question or situation that is difficult to deal with, and solution, the way to solve a problem. All right, we're going to read the story, then answer questions about the characters in the story. Today was the day I couldn't ignore the butterflies in my stomach. I had waited and studied for this day for months, after all, and I felt on edge. I was on my way to the most watched game show on television. Will you win? It's a staple at our house. We watch it every day right after I get off the bus. On the show, the host asks questions about random facts. The contestants need to answer before the other person to win a point. If they answer incorrectly, the contestant needs to dance or act out a famous scene from a movie of their choice. Then the audience votes to give the contestant another chance. The boo from the audience is legendary on this show. It is especially entertaining when someone famous is the cause of the booing. It's not a complicated show, but you have to be smart and quick with your answer. I can't believe they finally chose me to be a contestant. I can't believe I have a chance to win the prize money. As my mother drove me to the airport, I focused on the Will You Win show. Facts raced through my head and I skimmed all the pocket fact books I brought with me. The speed limit decreased and the car slowed as we approached the airport. My mother parked in the long-term parking garage. We headed towards the terminal. My pace slowed. I thought, can I do this? Alexis, are you ready? Mom asked. The airport loomed before us. This is my chance to win money for our after-school program. This is what I worked so hard for. I can do this, I told myself. I stood taller and said, ready or not, here I come. Then I smiled for the first time that day. All right, go ahead and see if you can answer some of the questions. If you can't answer all of them, reread the story or um, listen to the video again to see if you can find the rest of them.